Listen, Han Kachina people have been recognizing and uh, giving great honors to the people who give great honor and recognition to so many other people in the Valley of the Sun through volunteer work. My friend, everybody's friend, Irma Bombeck once said, you can't do anything better than to volunteer. And Michelle, I guess you already know that. Michelle Moore, is it Fanger? Yes. Uh, first of all, explain to everybody what Han Kachina is. Well, Han Kachina is an award that is given by the council, Han Kachina Council, to honor those that um, go out and help with and set the tone with volunteerism in the community. It, it used to be called, I think many years ago, the Luke's Men Board or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was a wise move uh, <laughs> to not genderize things <laughs> like this. Uh, mm -hmm. your, uh, your organization, though, that makes you a winner this year mm -hmm. at an upcoming event mm -hmm. that we know all about because mm -hmm. AZTV is the media partner mm -hmm. with Han Kachina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what you do as a volunteer. Um, we founded the organization called Mother's Grace in 2010. We are an organization that helps mothers and children in the immediacy of their needs. So if they have a trauma or overwhelming life circumstance, we are there to jump in and help. Um, we believe that infrastructure is wonderful and research is great, but we are there to help them financially and emotionally if they need something right then and there. Well, and so many do need help mm -hmm. right then and there. Yes. And sometimes uh, it's difficult to get past the red tape. That's absolutely true. Can you? We do, and the thing that we're known best for is we usually get help to someone within 48 to 72 hours of the nomination. Wow. Yeah. So if a mother's going through a horrible time or their child is, we are contacted by someone that nominates them and we're able to get help to them within three days. Why you? Um, I am, in 2008, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and was a busy working executive in the corporate world. And um, it was a very severe form of breast cancer and had to have a year of treatment. Three weeks after I was diagnosed, my middle son, who's here with me today, was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. He was rushed to the hospital the night before my first chemo treatment. Um, our next year, for him to learn to be insulin dependent and for me to go through treatment was a wake-up call to see what people really go through when, when these things happen in their young lives. Did you have uh, an extraordinarily frustrating time just seeking help yourself for you and your son and the rest of your family? Um, in that kind of situation, you are very much overwhelmed as a human being and as a mother, and you're trying to take care of your children. I had very good resources, good insurance, but when you're out sick, for a year or two, it affects everybody. It doesn't matter what community you come from. So I just realized that, that uh, moms and children need that kind of help. Well, your presence here today also encourages folks who perhaps may be saying, well, I would love to, mm -hmm. and maybe I have a little extra time, mm -hmm. uh, I have the inclination, but I don't know what anybody needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you answer that? Absolutely. Um, our organization has a pool of volunteers that work very closely in three different areas. We are partnered with um, P, uh, PCH right now in a sports philanthropy group with kids that are on the oncology ward. We do a lot of outreach to moms that are sick and ill. So we have a um, volunteer meeting uh, at the end of August that they can come and enroll, join up, and volunteer on many different fronts. You know, we've mentioned Han Kachina mm -hmm. liberally. Mm -hmm. We haven't mentioned the fact that your organization's name is Mother's Grace Charity. That's right. Explain the name. Mother's Grace for me is that the moms are the backbones of the family. And when we are going through horrible times, we need the grace of other moms in our community to come through and help with us. And um, I've seen it over and over and from a very divine nature that people come through and are able to support and it's a lot of times through, through the mothers in our community. You know, Michelle, one of the most effective ways to get people to remember mm -hmm. the content of these conversations is telling a story. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't tell you that I was going to ask you this, so it's got to be right off the top of your head. Mm -hmm. One story of one woman that your organization helped. So there's a, a wonderful woman who we met two years ago who had been going through a, a horrible time. She, um, her husband had left her and she was a teach school, local school teacher and um, she was packing up his things. She was ca caring for a son with Asperger's and she was a teacher, single mom. She's packing up her husband's things and she fell through the attic, broke her back. Mm -hmm. She was in the hospital for a long time recovering. She got out of the hospital, she had lost a lot of weight, she was walking with a cane, and she was trying to get her life together. And three weeks later, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So someone that's trying to get back on their feet, work, and is from our local community, taking care of her children, needed help. And the minute she was trying to get back to work, it came again, to, uh, you know, something big came and impacted her. We were able to step right in and help her, and help her for a few months, pay her fi her financial obligations, her mortgages, help her clean up her house, wow. and really take care of her so that she could get back on her feet. I think probably the best thing we could possibly mm -hmm. do right now is to tell other ladies, mm -hmm. other women, other moms, sisters, mm -hmm. daughters, how to get in touch with you. Um, you can get in touch with us through our website at Mother's grace.org or you can email us at mmmgrace at me.com. And of course, if you want to find out about other organizations mm -hmm. that are also doing extraordinary work for people like you and me, uh, why don't you just get in touch with Han Kachina, mm H-O-N -hmm. Kachina. We're the partners and we're proud. <laughs> Back in a moment. Closed captioning of the Morning Scramble is provided by Cliff Castle Casino Hotel, the perfect place to play.